we are gonna do a spot clean test with the iRobot i7, the S9, and then we're also gonna test the cheap D-Bot that I threw down the stairs. Watch the uh, D-Bot win this. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Here's the S9. Which one do you think is gonna do the best job? The i7 will not do well. No? No, the D, this, this will destroy. We will put him here to watch. Yeah. Now we're gonna start with the i7. Here we go. He's gonna watch. Yeah, I brushed things way too fast. It's gonna not pick up most of it. It might spin it into the... Ooh, that's throwing it all over. I don't even know if it's picking any of it up. Yeah, that's gonna be... You can already tell it's gonna miss everything that it already went around. The yeah, i7 does not have much suction. Wow, what a mess. <clears throat> yeah, I made a bigger mess than it was. Wow, I suspect they would have done better. Like that fast spinning brush is ridiculous. Oh, that's all it does. It's just a quick, literally a quick spin. I didn't even test yeah, you, that before. Yeah, you put it down when it's a mess. Oh, okay. It's yeah, this something. missed, probably missed 75% of it. Yeah. That brush just spins too fast. Let's put up the bin. Let's see what the, let's see what we got here. There's a, there'll be some in here. Yeah, I mean it. I forgot where the release is on this thing. There it is. I mean, it got some. Yeah, not many. Not much at all. It made a big mess. All right, this one is out. Do not use spot clean. Yeah, not or for popcorn kernels. Popcorn or anything. That they just can. throws it around everywhere. And I suspect the other ones are going to do the same. Be something if D-Bot wins. It does have two brushes, but I think it's going to throw stuff around everywhere too. The two brushes tend to throw it towards the middle. Yeah. But it might be too fast and it just flicks it. No, the spot clean is like on iRobot. It's to me, it's it's too small a path. I mean, I don't even think it went around the perimeter of what we have here. No, it didn't. It went like what three feet out, maybe four feet max. Maybe, but it did make a mess. <coughs> we're gonna put everything back over here. You're right, gonna try your do a D bot because I believe. That oh, you want to do the D bot first? Yeah, because I believe that. S9 should destroy. Oh, it should. On this test. Because of the so I don't actually know if this has a spot clean. Auto. Yeah, it might not. <clears throat> no, we just, yeah, we're going to do the D bot. There's we'll not a on. spot clean, I don't think. Unless it's through the app and it's not connected right now. So just see how this does with just straight up auto mode. All the brushes things a lot slower. Oh, they're still. Not yeah, most of them. Still so you really did throw them in the center. Yeah, yeah they're through a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Two brushes spinning in opposite directions is a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised they all don't have it, to be honest. It's just one extra brush. Like, come on. Because it will pick up. It'll it'll get all this. Yeah. It'll probably clean this entire room in, in you know, regular clean mode. We're just trying to show you guys how spot clean works, which I can imagine nobody uses. Yeah. But we're just trying to come up with some videos because we have all these robots to test. He actually does a pretty it good does. job for a really cheap robot. Really under does, under 200, I believe, brand I mean, new. Yeah, it's almost like no suction. I don't even hear suction on it. We're barely. You guys want to, to be fight? honest, this is this one reason why I threw it down the stairs. It 
didn't seem like it was working right when I tested it on like sucking up paper. But it's not doing that bad on the kernels, really. With everything that's gone over, it's and sucked it, is it up. It's completely random, guys. It's nothing, no mapping, nothing. It's just completely random. So it can't it completely mess fast? Yeah, but it's going to run for a while. It's going to eventually get it. Yeah, at least it can go over a little carpet. <laughs> that time it just kind of spun. It's got a pretty, uh, pretty real sensitive bumper. Yeah. It's a real, real sensitive bumper. Alright. Let's aim uh, it towards those kernels. Take it. Yeah, it, it actually, even with the slower brush, it is, it's kick, it kicks them. Yeah. S9, basically okay. supposed to be the best robot you can see buy right we, now. Let's see what it'll do with the slower speed brush. Day difference. But it looks like it's done already. Like the spot cleans half of what the eyes is. Yeah, that's what's the point of that. You can. Now it should start going out into a bigger. Yeah, you think it would spot clean this whole area. I think it'd be like at least 10 square feet or something. Wow, it did great for it. Yeah, that brush is a lot slower. And that's going out a little bit by a little bit. Is it going back out? It looks like it. Just like an inch by inch. No, maybe not. No, well, it might be. Like very little. Looks like it's getting a little bit closer to this one each time. No? I don't know what the hell it's doing. The software could have a bug. Yeah, it's the same going around circles, the same exact spot. Maybe that's all this one does, is it just does a... That's almost pointless. Why would you want to spot clean a... One foot area? Yeah. Two feet maybe max. It's like... That's so pointless. Should have been done a long time ago. Yeah. Now I noticed when it was going around, the popcorn hit the bumper and made it go back the other direction. I did see that. Yeah. Maybe it messed up. <clears throat> All right, let's stop it. So, we got to see what's going on. But spot mode should already be done. Make some weird noises. The brushes are so close to the ground. It's, like it's definitely sucking up everything. I don't even think I have. I think I have. Yeah, it's getting all the And it's really not flicking out. So. Pieces, but that's, that's not bad at all. Yeah, it does. Because they say in the brush is so low to the ground, it's scraping as it's sucking it in. <laughs> Let me see what I have with some guys. The spot clean obviously isn't working. But I mean, for, as far as sucking yeah. up the kernels, we have them. I mean, this is the obvious winner. Spot clean in progress. Can you map out like how wide it goes? Yeah, map, map, it just off. Really? That's weird. And right now I've got it in low power mode. Yeah, I have it in quiet clean, so let's go to detail. There it goes. Is this still spot? That's weird. I put in, I put in detail clean now it's working. So maybe, maybe there is a bug in quiet, in quiet mode, it won't do spot clean. Oh yeah, it's definitely going around a big circle. Oh yeah. It pushes it now. That yeah, a little bit, a little bit, just kick under. Yeah, now it's doing what it's supposed to do. And now 
it's going in real small circles and then it'll stop in the middle and end. So there's a bug in the software. Spot clean under quiet clean doesn't work. Alright, well, you can see from what's left, this thing. Obvious it, it, winner. It only left. Although the i7 kicked the lap, but it, it did like a tiny circle. It didn't make sense. One, two, three, it left five kernels. Yeah, so it's pretty good. And the winner! see what the band looks like. I have never taken this out. Here we go. What's good about this is you can just press the button and it releases it out the bottom so you don't even have to touch the boot. Like that? <laughs> wow. Whoops. This got a lot of popcorn in it, guys. Well, it looks like you need to <laughs> do another spot clean. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I don't think you meant for that to happen. Right into the area of the planes. For the most part, it's pushing a few of them. 